Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Nailbook's Dungeon Master, which is a management style game, kind of a base builder. You build a dungeon, it's very, very cool. Let's jump into things and see what we've got in store. As ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. And whilst the game is loading, I will tell you that this uh, coverage has been sponsored by the developers. This game is published by Dear Villagers and is launching on the 15th of November, 2023. If you're interested in checking out the game, wish list it, giving it a play, checking it out when it comes out on the 15th of November. Uh, you can check out the link down in the description below uh, and see what we have got going on. Right, um, so the premise for this game uh, is funky and I'm kind of here for it. So uh, we play as, I guess, the, uh, the administrator of a dungeon uh, and that involves doing pretty much everything in order to make sure that everything runs smoothly and everything is above board. Now, uh, yes, this is Zangdar, who is the uh, who is the leader, who is the dungeon master, if you'd like. Uh, and this is Revanx, who is this funny little goblin sidekick uh, who is going to be helping with the administration. Now, I am going to skip through a bunch of dialogue because I want to squeeze in as much gameplay as I possibly can whilst I've got you here. Uh, because I flippin', I flippin' love this game and I really want to show off as much as I possibly can. Right, okay. The dungeon's in a poor state for too long. Your mission is to restore it in other words make it profitable. Uh, we have a reputation meter up in the top right hand corner and uh, as our reputation meter climbs so too will my self-esteem which is very very important you know. Anyway uh, this is us. Uh, if our patience meter uh, drops to zero then it is game over. There is a bunch of different ways that Zangdar's patience can decrease so it's just something that we need to be super mindful of and make sure that we don't actually see happen uh, at all all right what have you got going on over here uh yeah this is revax he's the stewards uh, the head stooge the person that's going to be doing all of the heavy lifting whilst we are uh whilst we are in control and then we've also got a minion who is a singular human cook i am going to tweak the volume ever so slightly whilst we're uh whilst we're getting through that just because i want to hear things slight bit better there we go Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's a little funky because obviously um, it doesn't seem like the most secure system in the world to have uh, to have a tavern in the corner of your, you know, highly secure dungeon. Uh, but alas, this is how we're going to be making our money. Uh, we only have a few rooms at the moment. We have got ourselves a tavern. Uh, it's nice. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing with the tavern as we go. Indeed, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make sure that we build up uh, we build up some premises we build up some facilities literally facilities uh, in order to in order to get a better a better rating on uh, a better rating on some TripAdvisor website right okay so we need to build a bathroom we need to place two latrines that we can do fairly simply uh, there is gonna be a lot of building a lot of rooms that we're gonna build because uh, we need to make sure that our dungeon is fully specked out now. I kind of like this as a, as a design scheme. So I think we should probably try to have like, you know, for some of the rooms that are, you know, m on the main thoroughfare, we should probably have to try to have uh, doors on either side so that we can allow traffic to come through. Uh, two latrines, as is the requirement. We will validate that room. We will get it built and we will throw it into three times speed as well. Uh, again, maybe a little bit of a security risk having these random, you know, construction chaps come in and build the walls and stuff. But, you, you know... Don't, don't worry about it too much. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, next objective is to build a dormitory with two beds. Honestly, I'm half-minded to just do the dormitory over here. Squeeze it in there. Do our standardized sort of two-door system. Throw down two beds right about there. Uh, you know what? We'll throw a third bed in for good measure. Why not? I'm feeling generous today. Get those three construction boys back in. Yeah, there's a little, a little, uh, you know, this is a little artistic license that we're deploying for this specific part of the, of the bedroom. <laughs> it's looking a little bit funky. The living quarter improvements are complete. Excellent news indeed, but very expensive. We have to find a way to make money. 
Indeed we do. Um, and the way that we're going to make money is through as through the tavern, which is very, very nice. So there's a couple of different things that we need to uh, immediately note with regards to the tavern. There's a customer number, there's a minion number. So minions that we actually have working in our sort of like overall facility um, are going to be able to use this as like a canteen, which is kind of cool. There we go. The tavern attracts customers looking to spend their gold. Each item in the tavern is a maintenance cost that is automatically deducted at the beginning of every week, just like wages. Uh, orange includes salaries and tavern's maintenance costs. And the number of customers in tavern's income depends on the number of seats. For the moment, your idiot min minions occupy the places of your precious customers to eat. Indeed, that is something that we are not happy about. Now, I should have said earlier, uh, there's a bunch of different stats down here. Uh, we have got, uh, I believe that's the number of, uh, yeah, guards. So we've got uh, one cook, no domestic staff, and no guards. We've got that amount of gold. Uh, we have got this amount of money, which is going to be spent at the end of every uh, er at the end of every week cycle. Now, let's modify the tavern specifically to increase its seating capacity. If we double up its seating capacity by adding an extra table with six chairs, uh, then we are going to allow a few extra spaces for a few extra customers to come in, sit down, and enjoy a nice cold brew, or indeed a warm brew, if that's your sort of thing. Either way, it's what we need to do. So let's get it done. Right. This should be enough to lure in a few dupes. Indeed, it should be. And uh, I hope that it does lure in a few dupes. Uh, because we need as many paying customers as we possibly can. Now, who is this? This is another very important member of our staff. Dare I say, maybe the most important member of staff that we are going to be dealing with. Uh, in the course of our playthrough. This is Orloff. Um, and he, he is going to be, he is going to be our uh, master at arms or, our, you know, our sergeant at arms. He's going to be our, he's going to be our main man with a weapon. Can I click, can I click on you? What's your, what's your official job title? Uh, you're technically a guard, but you're like the chief guard. That's fine. Anyway, uh, give me the, uh, give me the objective. Failed raid explain why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with the slackers first. Indeed. So we need to try and we need to try and attract the right type of customers. The customers that are gonna end up spending money at the tavern, fine. People that are gonna try and raid our dungeon, uh, not so much. We don't want we don't want those type of people coming into our dungeon. And uh, bear in mind, with the exception of this tiny little drawbridge, uh, there is basically no deterrent to to actually coming in here. So let's get some let's get some proper defensive infrastructure established. We'll get ourselves a guard room, which is quite nice. We'll get that built over here, I think. Yep, let's do that. We can actually have a double door, sort of like right uh, right at the start here. And we need to place three lockers for human soldiers. What do we got? Panel used for downtime. Uh, rest their elbows when they take a breather. Sure, we'll get our we'll get our guards a table. Our hardworking guards. Excellent. And we'll also get sure. I think four uh, four lockers. Let's let's do it. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna adjust. It's gonna adjust the salaries ever so slightly, but I think it'll be worth it. Either way, this looks pretty darn cool. I will say, I do flip in love the way that the game looks. It really feels so lovely. Uh, the lockers, when I place them, automatically, automatically hire a uh, high regard. I know we've got a limit of 30 employees at the moment. I do need to be uh, aware of that. That is our number of guards. Happy, happy days. Okay. Look at that. Just chilling in the room. Excellent. Okay, I mean this is starting to this is starting to come along quite nicely. A very a very decent defensive formation. Can't really complain altogether too much. Okay. This is looking good. Uh, intruders are exploring the dungeon. Uh yeah, so we are gonna get tested. We're gonna get tested. Um honestly, am I particularly worried? No, because they're going to have to come through the guard room. Even though the guards are technically all playing cards. A little bit uh, a little bit slow to respond, I must say. Uh, but honestly, all things considered, not too bad. Oh, here you are, Orloff. You arrived at the very last second, um, and you didn't actually do anything. Yeah, no thanks to you, Buster. Anyway... 
I'm pretty happy with the way that that went. That's pretty darn good news if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, nothing to complain about in that regard. Bedroom still looking, still looking pretty good. Toilet is looking sufficiently dingy. Um, and the kitchen is looking suspiciously unmanned. Um, yeah, what the heck is going on here? You're going on strike. I can, I can see exactly what the heck is happening here. Right. Uh, we have one singular employee and they're on strike. So, yeah. Unfortunate there. At the beginning of each week, strikes can break out in the dungeon with potentially disastrous consequences. Yeah, we're going to try and avoid disasters as much as possible. Uh, strikes of the effect of annoying Zangdar. Yeah, we really want to make sure that we, uh, we try and make sure that he is uh, not peeved as much as possible. Their demands are unattainable for now. Just get rid of this ingrate by firing them. Firing a minion costs gold. The amount depends on their rank. Okay, we're going to terminate your employment. Uh, and then we'll do some union busting, I think, a little bit later on. I'll make an example of him. Still, I should try to make sure it doesn't happen again. Indeed, uh, we do need to make sure that we establish a proper human resources department. Right. Your, uh, your, your patience is still maxed out. That's good. The dungeon master is still doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Right. What's next on the build list? We need to build Revax's office. And we need to place a desk of inhuman resources, which is a fantastic little play on words. Okay. Let's not go... Actually, it... Yeah, let's not go crazy in size here. I'm not... Uh... It doesn't need to be that big. Right. Uh, I don't need to... I don't need to add any decorations. I don't feel like I need to, to add any decorations. It's a little bit uneven. But that's fine. Absolutely fine. Okay. Get that all built. And then let's get... Let's get this sorted. Right. Recruitment. I would love to recruit a brand new chef. Uh, it's an orc chef. Nice. Uh, you've got some traits. You're carnivorous and you're filthy. Probably not a great occupation, to be fair, for a chef. Uh, but you know what? You've got the job anyway. Welcome to the... Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, buddy. Select an orc minion to view his information. God, you dressed up as a chef as well. You literally... You came into work dressed like that. That's a, that's a real commitment to, to your job. Anyway. Uh, happy days. Yes, we've got a whole bunch of special traits. I've already talked about them. Happy, happy days. And also, crucially, it only costs 62 gold to get rid of you. So if you start to strike, you're going to be right out the, uh... You're going to be right out the door, buster. Be prepared. Be very prepared. Right. Who are you? Let's wait and see. I heard you're looking for a cook? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah... I don't, I mean, I'm really glad, I'm really glad that you're qualified, um, but, yeah, I prefer my filthy orc, <laughs> I prefer my filthy orc to do the cooking. Your minions are eating at the tavern, reducing your maximum number of customers, a canteen allows minions to eat in a separate room, which won't scare away your most, we your most wealthy clientele, uh, of which we have two at the moment, um, not very wealthy, but... You know, they're hopefully going to make their uh, make their way through all of our alcoholic beverages. And we'll build a canteen. Where should we build a canteen? That's a guard room potato. Good try, though. Uh, let's build the canteen. Build a canteen over here. Except let's... Let's do that. Door over there. Door over there. Door over here. Honestly, I mean, if we've got the space, we might as well... Yeah, I think that's actually, that's quite a nice little, that's quite a nice little look. I kind of like it. Uh, it does leave this bit of a void between the, you know, the two rooms. But honestly, there's not too much that, uh, that we can do about that. That's okay. All right. Oh no, we've not accidentally improved living conditions, have we? That's unfortunate. I, you know, I like to feel, I like to feel like, uh, like my minions are, are, are living in destitution. Somehow makes it feel more, uh, more real. 
You know, bunch of dead rats. Mel, for somebody, no, it doesn't. For somebody who's uh, just come in here and begged for a job, you're you're not going you're not going the right way of uh, of being kept on. <laughs> there are limits to filth. Words to live by, I think. Let us hire an elf domestic. Um, let's jump into recruitment and see if we can get an elf domestic. Elf, uh, elves have special needs as well. Information on origins can be found on the minions profile. Sure. Welcome on board, buddy. Vegan cuisine and foaming elf. Wonderful. Uh, what else have we got going on? Oh, select a bathroom to view its information. That's this one over here. And we can check out the hygiene rating, which is fine. Uh, and we can select that to uh, to keep the room clean, which is nice. Uh, place two showers in the bathroom, hire one elf cook, place one stove in the kitchen, and place one pantry in the kitchen. Okay, we can do all of that. Let's get the showers first. Two showers, that's it. A mud inflow allows minions to dirty up at the showers. I mean, sure. Let's do it. For 128 bucks, why the heck not? Hire one elf cook. Welcome on board. Uh, place one stove in the kitchen. That is this room here. Uh, I should also probably try and keep this room clean as well. Right. Am I going to have the space? I might just have the space right about there. And place one pantry as well. I think we can squeeze that right in the corner. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. That will work out quite nicely. Let's um, let's keep this room. Let's keep this room clean as well. Uh, let's also keep this room clean as well. We'll see where my we'll see where my uh, my my elf is. Where's my cleaning elf? We do need to... We do need to make sure that that's all... That's all in hand. Right. Ooh. Are we gonna be, uh, spicing... Spicing up the design? I would be very interested in doing that. In fact, I would happily do that. Place four decorations. Uh, what do I think? What do I think is gonna make... Is gonna make the difference. Still life painting? Sure. Let's get some paintings in the tavern. Anything else? Uh, let's get some columns. Maybe like halfway down this corridor. As you do. Uh, and we'll get some decorative jars. In the guard room. Sure. That's a nice little mix of that's a nice little mix of stuff in all different locations. Sure. Excellent. I'm pretty happy with that. That's looking pretty darn nice. Okay. I shall write to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang to share my creative insights. What a guy, honestly. What a guy. An, an eye for design. Truly an eye for design. What is going on with these, uh, oh, I thought they were trousers for a second. Goodness gracious me. Bring back the 80s, am I right? All right. What have you got to say? Nehelbuk, okay. I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. Uh oh. Are you going to publish his article on inferior situations? <laughs> I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette editor. Oh my goodness. I am Doris Martadella, head inspector of the Dungeons Fund. I'm right. Here for your membership application. Uh oh. That what? doesn't sound good. The DF? But uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such Oh no. We've fallen into we've fallen into a small print trap. It's a disaster. Doris is here to to skin the sheep, so to speak. 
world if we refuse to join? That is your right. Uh-oh. In accordance with the DF regulations... <laughs> 200,000 gold coins if we refuse to join this stinky Dungeons Association. Oh my gosh. What? I mean... It's absolutely racketeering. I am, um, oh my lord. Look, do we have to read some terms and conditions? Please read carefully before signing. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Yes or yes in red. I love that. Give me yes in red. Sure, what the heck. <laughs> right. Minions' morale gauge is influenced by three distinct needs. Room cleanliness, eating their fill, and entertainment. Okay, and we have an objective to build a furnished break room. I think I can just about manage that. Right, uh, break room, let's get that... Let's get that over here? Maybe a little bit bigger. Sure, something like that, I think. And again, we'll make sure that we've got some uh, some doors over here that uh, that we can have some traffic to come through, some reading desks... Games of chance. Sure. 500 and something bucks. It's a little bit of an expensive break room, but I think we'll manage just fine. Okay. Uh, where's my... Where's my elven cleaner? That's Mel, the, the suspicious cook. Showers are working. Good. I'm happy with that. Uh, where's, where's the domestic elf? I don't know. Presumably around cleaning up somewhere. Zangdar's on the on the loo. Okay. Everybody is in the bathroom apparently. All right. What's up? Indeed. Yeah. To be fair, we're being quite accommodating to our members of staff. Dungeon Radio. What the heck? <laughs> this, this game is just so zany. Ah! There! There we are. My domestic elf. Wonderful. I ate well. I'm in good shape. Honestly, yeah, absolutely love to see it. That is great, great news. Ooh. That's a good, that's a good point, Mel. Uh, I didn't take you, I didn't take you for being a cook as well as a business advisor, but, uh, apparently that's exactly what you're gonna do. Okay, modify the tavern, let's get this sorted. Tavern's prestige is represented by the tripes advisor. Ad, sorry, advisor, very legally distinct, different. Uh, tr tripes advisor sausages, an important factor to attract customers. Okay, so we need to get up to the next level of sausage in order to be, uh, in order to be properly decent. Okay. Uh, we need to make sure that we cater for uh, drinks for everyone. And we can select the accounting menu, which lists the dungeon's income and expenses here. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Uh, tavern gains, tavern maintenance. I mean, the the only thing that we're making income from is the is the tavern. Literally everything else, we're, we're losing money. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, we're losing money from from literally everything else. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get this modified, and let's see if we can try and... Yeah, barrel to attract the orc customers, barrel to attract elf customers. We'll see if we can try and get barrels for everything. Uh, mud, light, beer, kegs. Do I need to stick them in? I need to stick them in the tavern. I mean, we don't have... We don't have a tremendous amount of space, to be honest. Let's see if we can actually try and... See if we can actually try and add this. There we go. See if we can try and add this up there. Remove walls. If I do that, is that going to work? I think it should. And then we'll modify again once that has been extended. Uh, does this need to have a door over here? I mean, it might be beneficial if it did. But it doesn't necessarily have to, per se. I'm quite content if it just looks the way that it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay, let's get let's get keg corner down here. That over there. Uh, this is humans and humans and drows. 
we'll get whatever this is. Crappy fruit, fruit juice barrels. Okay, meat dishes are available for sale. I mean, sure. Vegetable buffet. Sure. And a gaming table. You know what? Why not just throw in another tavern table here? Nice. That gets us up to the next level of sausage as well. In fact, maybe another tavern table? If we got the space, we might as well do it. We got a simple bar. That's pretty much everything. Let's get some decorations. Let's get some decorations. I'm feeling... I'm feeling spicy. There we go. This does not have as much of an impact as I would have liked, but that's okay. 888 bucks. That's quite a lot of money, but to be fair, this is the only this is the only room in the entire building that is actually going to make us money. So we might as well spend money, you know, like on here. And our first barrel of wine. Wine's got its fans and it's Nice. Look at this. This is going this is going crazy. We got all the we got all the peeps coming into our illicit tavern entrance. So yeah, definitely doesn't need a door over here. Although, you know, we definitely could put one in there, I suppose. Either way, it's looking it's looking pretty darn good. Nice. Oh my lord, this place is going absolutely crazy. 19 out of 22 customers. 12 people waiting in line. Oh my giddy aunt. That's crazy. Drunks are pouring in and we've diversified our clientele. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, dare I say I might want to even get an additional bar? If we've got 17 people waiting in line? Oh no. Oh no, Doris. Doris the Buzzkill, what do you got to say? Your organization suffers from chronic underinvestment in its inventory for the capabilities of tooling and other crafting appliances. Tooling and crafting appliances. Build a workshop and place two technology benches and hire two artisans. Okay, we can do that. Do I need to change anything up here? People waiting in line, 16 people waiting in line. I feel like I need to even, I feel like I need to modify this and make it even bigger. I feel like I actually, I feel compelled to do so. Can I, uh... Can I go, like, all the way down to here, maybe? Okay. It's gonna cost me an absolute arm and a leg to do. Do I want to do this? Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is not a good idea. Let's, let's just run it over capacity for now. Let's, let's get the other stuff. Let's get the other stuff sorted. Let's get a, um, get a workshop here. Let's make the workshop directly connected to the bathroom because that seems like a very rational and reasonable thing to do. Sure. Love one exit over there. Do we need an exit over here? Nah. Tech workbench. We need two tech workbenches. They're not quite as big as I initially anticipated. But I'm sure, you know, I'm sure making it larger, you know, I'm sure making it larger on purpose initially is going to end up paying dividends later on. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Either way, that's not too bad. Sorry. Okay, uh, can I get, could I get some artisans recruited, please? Yeah, uh, does it matter who we recruit? Congrats. Salary zero, expectations slightly higher. Uh, sure, we'll recruit you. Welcome on board. Local crafts, we've officially got it sorted. Man, we are making so much money. Can I have a little look at the, uh, the accounting screen, please? Oh my goodness, look at that! Look at that. I mean, near enough tripled. Near enough tripled our income. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you, Doris. We we love Doris. We love Doris in her own special way. Minimum acceptable standards. Okay. That's fine. Also, look at our look at our reputation level. It's definitely increasing. It's definitely increasing. Oh no. Your reputation in suspicion to justify opening your dungeon for 
Oh no. Are we supposed to raise our reputation if we can't open the dungeon? It's a classic question. It's a classic question. A few thousand gold coins to the fund, which would increase your reputation. Doris, the Doris is such a it, it, corruption. Corruption. Reputation is tied to the dungeon's room. Try selecting the kitchen. Okay, reach dungeon reputation level three. The prestige of a room uh, increases if it's decorated. Minions decorate representation of the work in a room that meets their expectations. Sure. Okay, we need to try and bump the uh, bump this bump the stars up. Uh, what does the chef want? Chef has an expectation of one singular star. That's fine. Uh, that's probably going to increase as we go. But honestly, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not actually, it's not actually bad. How's our tavern looking? Oh, our tavern doesn't have reputation. Our tavern has got the, uh, the tribes advisor, uh, the tribes advisor score. Let's see if we can try and bump this up then, shall we? Uh, maybe some wall art. Keep it classy, you know? And by classy, I definitely mean... We're gonna have the same. We're gonna have the same piece of art on the walls. That's the sort of, that's the sort of benevolent. Uh, there we go, the benevolent dictator that I am. Let's get that built. Yeah, you uh, you said that. That's cool. Okay, reach dungeon reputation level three. Yeah, so we're gonna need to we're gonna need to bump up our prestige in a lot of rooms. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rooms. This is looking fine for now. You've reached three stars, or you should reach three stars as soon as I, as soon as I've finished building all of these, uh, different portraits. There we go. Goblin dump. Okay, we've gone from crappy dungeon to goblin dump. You absolutely love to see it. Uh, well on our way to three stars, though. I think that's three stars. Looks good. Reputation is increased by one level. Excellent. We'll grow if your management is satisfactory. My management is more than satisfactory. How's this? Uh, this is a miserable, dingy room. This is also a miserable, dingy room. Let's see. If I, if I get some more baths, yeah. If I get more, if I get more baths, is that a more cost-efficient way of improving the prestige here? Let's get some more latrines. Okay, that's one star. That's good. Let's let's get some let's get some photos up on the wall too. Nothing says nothing says sophistication like being completely surrounded by some lovely lovely paintings of skulls when you're doing your business. Uh, this is outrageously expensive though, so I should maybe try and find a more cost-effective uh, solution. Maybe a fire pit. Fire pit sounds good. Maybe an empty fountain. Throw that down as well. Maybe another shower. You know, maybe throwing a shower into the bathroom isn't the craziest idea in the world. And a bench. A bench. That's going to get us level two. That's pretty nice. It's going to cost me a thousand bucks, though, to be fair. That's quite a lot of money. But you know what? It's going to definitely move us in the right direction. Let's get that room kept clean. There we go. A nice two-star... Nice two-star room, a nice three-star room. That is brilliant. That's looking good. How's how's the canteen looking? The canteen's like it's heading towards three stars. The break room, the break room can uh yeah, break room could do a lot of do a lot of stuff. Honestly, if I just toggle some of these, if I just toggle some of these things on, uh, we should be able to clean we should be able to clean things up. And if we're able to clean things up, then that would really, really help. Uh, what do we got? We got plenty of cash. I don't know why I'm being so hesitant about making some pretty significant improvements. Oh, even even like adding these these extra beds. That'll get me most of the way. It's a little it, it's a little tight. That's fine. Add some beds. Get some get some of the get some of the other type of uh, type of wall art here. There we go. That should definitely get us to level two. Perfect. And we'll lock that in. Nice. Nice. Absolutely happy to, to deal with that. Right. Anybody else need to work in a room that meets their expectations? 
Uh, I tell you what, this room needs to be like a level one expectation. Because we got two people that we got two people that are working in here that are not working at the moment. I tell you what though, we're pretty pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. This bedroom is looking bedroom is looking pretty darn sophisticated. Not too displeased with that. Man, we're still generating a heck of a load of money from this tavern. I feel like maybe we should just expand it. Honestly, it kinda feels like a good idea. Kinda feels like a good idea. That room's clean enough. Yeah, that's fine. You, you've got an expectation of working in a one-star room pretty much everywhere. Well, you work pretty much everywhere. Right, let's pause you. So you've got an expectation of zero. You've got an expectation of one star. Let's see if we can try and amend this. Let's see if we can try and amend this. Maybe some more... Some more desks here. There we go. That'll be good. Uh, maybe some fire pits as well in the center. Let's not go too overboard with uh, with this one. We'll get a door over there as well. I just feel like it's lacking. It's lacking the door, you know? It's lacking the door. Get that right in there. Uh, do I want to recruit somebody? Somebody else, maybe? I think we'll I think we'll hire another I think we'll hire another domestic elf. Just because some of the rooms could do with being just a little bit cleaner. There's also quite a lot of dirt just, like, in the main sort of thoroughfares. But that's also completely fine. Right, our design job available. We can clear all those notifications. That's all looking good. I think we've got plenty of showers. I think we're all, I think we're all good on that front. Uh, we're so close to that level three, which is quite nice. I do need to see a little bit of extra cleaning action, though, from my uh, from my domestic elves. A little bit of extra cleaning would go a long way. Right, the break room getting upgraded. Uh, I think we probably want to make a few improvements over here. That being said, I mean we've already got like oh, gaming table. Gaming tables are absolutely hot stuff here. Oh my goodness gracious me, that like just gave us. Basically two levels. Just like so. Any additional space for this? That's enough to get us level... Th it's enough to get us three stars. Let's do it. What is happening to our gold? Uh, you gotta spend money... You gotta spend money to make money, buddy. You gotta spend money to make money. Right. If we do a little bit of the cleanup, if we get all of these... If we get all of these bits placed into the room... Then we should be at the uh, at the appropriate level. If we're not, we're going to be pretty darn close. There we go. Get this get this all swept up. There we go. State of the room needs to be needs to be clean or better than clean. That should get us to level. That should get us to reputation level three. Oh yeah, absolutely love to see it. Tripe advisors, best dungeons ranking list. Yes. Oh, you love to see it. Happy, happy days. A makeshift dungeon. Wow. What an achievement. It feels like we've really, it feels like we've really done something. Given the positive assessment of the evolution of your reputation ratings. Yes. Fulfillment of minimum hosting standards. Yes. This dungeon is now open for exploration. Hooray. Hooray. We did it. Excellent. Uh, open house. Survive the incursion. Uh-oh. Uh, that doesn't sound fantastic, but that's okay. Either way, I'm still absolutely rolling in the cash, which is lovely. Very, very happy with that. Is there going to be an attack? Oh, I need to make sure this room is kept uh, clean as well. Yeah, survive the incursion. Let's... Let's see. Oh, they're coming, they're coming at me from a completely different angle. Oh, I didn't realize that there. All right, where are the guards? There we go. Get the guards in here, please. Died in combat. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some more lockers, actually. Uh, yeah, goblin guard. Goblin guard locker, sure. Elf guard locker, sure. And an orc guard locker. Uh, definitely not going to impede any sort of flow of customers here. 
The Clan of Merry Bullies. Well, uh, they've slaughtered one of my guards already. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty annoying. Oh no, they're all cowering. Guards? Guards? Get in here. The guards seem very, very content. I don't have anything to do. Are you, are you actually kidding me? You don't have anything to do? You don't, you don't think that there's anything better for you to do? Yeah, uh, that's Orloff right over there. You're gonna, you're gonna find yourself, you're gonna find yourself in a bit of trouble, buddy, unless you, unless you sort that out. Also, it doesn't look like we can actually build these until the incursion has been, has been repelled. Or they decide to leave and come back. Yeah, there are quite a lot of, uh, there are quite a lot of guards that are just gonna take, uh, Take a little bit of a beating here. Finally, though, they get into the they get into the main room. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think this is looking too good for our dungeon, to be honest. Incursion over. Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to say that we uh, failed that, uh, but we dealt with it, I suppose, which is fine. <laughs> Indeed, we were. Although I feel like we were supposed to be. We were supposed to be unprepared. Indeed, it is the dungeon's fun. They took us by surprise. Uh, indeed. Indeed. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. It is all a conspiracy indeed. Anyway, ladies and gents, we're actually going to ramp this up right about now. Uh, yeah, this game is two thumbs up from me. Uh, it really is definitely one to check out if you're interested in Dungeon Master, Dungeon Master base builders. Uh, very, very cool. Thank you again to the developers for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in checking this game, when uh, checking out this game, when it comes out on the 15th of November, uh, then you can do so by clicking the link down in the description below. But for now and for me, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.